Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I have many free rolls queued up, including my rank 150 through to rank 1100 Memorial Egg Machine rolls, and a bunch of Pad Academy rolls because I have neglected to roll and stream for some period of time. So, without further ado, let the good times roll. That is actually a fantastic song by the Cars, and it, that is a band I highly recommend you get into. Alrighty, so it's 150. I have like zero expectations for another Pantheon. You know what? Light Metatron would probably be like one of the biggest scores from this rank 150 machine if it was like, you know, in 2016. Or earlier. Maybe, maybe earlier actually. I have enough of her. But point is, she would have been the jackpot maybe like 8, 9, 10 years ago. Another disappointing pantheon. It is Osiris. How many of you do I have? Too many. Do you have a weapon assist yet? No. I'll put you in the corner. Alrighty, rank 500. So, for those who've played long enough to remember, the gemstone princesses were, once upon a time, incredibly valuable because their active skill gave burst damage, which helped you actually deal more. Because way back then, there was no such thing as even coming close to hitting the damage cap value. So actually having ways to augment your damage further was meaningful. Fast forward to today and you can just damage cap everything and everyone, basically. And it's Napoleon. I have the chance to make his weapon assist. And you know what? It's a bunch of enhanced killers, so it's never a bad thing to have more of those options. I have enough Napoleons to do it. <laughs> Rank a little higher. Yes, Dingo, you have to do more than the damage cap to kill stuff. Exactly. And it's not just one card, it's many, many cards. In my Carnage title challenge, I need a Devil Killers. Six Star Godfest exclusive. I'll take it. You need. I need a Devil Killers to do enough damage to not get myself executed. I have not really looked into your weapons yet. Ooh, Double Devil Killer? Hmm. I will make you a weapon assist soon, Kayede. Don't worry, your destiny will be manifested. Alright, rank 800. It glows. I think everything is going to glow at this point, so I shouldn't get too, too excited. 7 star is better than 6 star. I have a few Lunas. Do I care about their weapons? Not particularly. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Rank 900 should be another 7 or maybe 8 star. Does 8 stars even come out of this? If I, There's a couple of Godfest exclusives I believe I just don't have yet. So it would be obviously nice if I were to pick those ones up. I have you, Kyo, already. That's okay. Didn't make you into a weapon yet. Not super inclined to make you into a weapon yet. Alright, rank 1000. Lots of effort went into this. And for my rank 1000, it's a fighter jet! So when Blackbird first came out, this would have been like one of the most desirable stuff to actually acquire. I'm surprised these VD 3x3s didn't get condensed yet. Yet. I have like all his forms. I'm just double checking if there's anything I missed. It's nice to have. Used to be one of the coolest leaders. Alrighty. Rank 1100. Something that I spent a modest amount of effort to actually achieve during a reasonably short period of time. So, hopefully it's good because... I would like multiple rolls. It'd be nice if it's like, you know, like a 10 draw or something like that to roll even more stuff afterwards. You know what? At least it's an 8 star Godfest exclusive, right? It could be worse because I forgot what I got last time, but it wasn't that spectacular. You have enough weapon assist that I'm probably going to have to look into thinking about what you should become. Alrighty, those are just... These are not helpful. Those are not helpful. We'll just skip to the real important rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 
Ramen, that is unfortunate. You didn't grind hard enough. Alrighty. So, for Pad Academy, I got a Lumiel. Do I have one? I have, I have too many of you. That is unfortunate. That is truly unfortunate. So, gold eggs are probably going to be a disappointment for me. So, we'll do the login stamps. Diamond? Yes! Glow for me? Ew! And PF Shark, what did you do for that team? Hey! Wow! I remember trading for her long ago, but wow! That is not normal to get from a free roll, ladies and gentlemen. Not normal whatsoever. I can now make you into a different form, possibly. Haven't decided which form, but this is exciting. <laughs> All right. I don't think I'm gonna top a top rarity card, so to speak. But diamond glow for me. Hot diggity damn! Maybe this is a good event. Dun 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 dun. No, Hestia. At least, I think no. I remember getting you before, and I wasn't particularly excited back then. And I'm not excited still either. Oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. These are free rolls. I get quite a few free rolls, actually. Or maybe because I've just waited for all these login stamps, so I've just, like, really saved up. Hey, Seawolf, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I have you already, but it's another looping heal who might do some damage. Maybe. But it's a looping heal. I can now make you into a weapon assist I may not necessarily care about. That's a large attack buff for five turns, though. What? Like, 15 times? Is that necessary? Probably is at some point. Alrighty. Do the login stamp. Oh, I got three pulls from this for clearing a dungeon. Long cooldown too. It will never overcharge unless you intentionally want it to. Glow. Sheet. Okay, I remember a few of you from previous years. Look at all these sad OEs that are not condensed. Oof. Holy sheet. Will I like you as a weapon assist? You're okay, maybe. Low-key. I am low-key kind of sad that I rolled you. Oh well, okay. To be fair, I got Ina, so like, even though I already had one, it's just nice to actually roll something meaningful, so to speak, or at least difficult to acquire. Well, that was a disappointment, Susano. Whoops. Well, we can take a look at your sculpted abs momentarily. How's that sound? I have enough of you. No interest in you either way. Yeah, did this even receive any buffs, or is it just, like, forgotten completely? Maybe you were forgotten. It's okay. We have another account who can roll, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna do all these free rolls as well. The Awakening's got changed on the base form. It doesn't look significant enough, though, to me. Alrighty, let us see what the future holds. Yes, I agree. Alright, we're back for fantastic same rolls, if I'm not mistaken, I should have. Alrighty, Karen. I'm not caring about you anymore. I've got six, seven, eight, nine. Just nine of you. I probably have sacrificed. Oh, you were sac. I sacrificed a few for Karen dragons. There was a period in time where they were like those Chinese celestials were like this super ch one of the chase cards for pantheons. Even DQXQ had time as a leader for a while, and then I always would laugh at the mixed water and light rose, and it would always confuse me. And then we got Water Rose with a Light Light card. I, I am just amazed sometimes. 
Ilan says most of the Karens went to aggregates. You know what? That's a very worthy exchange. Alrighty, rank 500. Will I get something interesting? Is a gemstone, so I don't think any... Oh, Carrot! Look at that. She was the most desirable one of the bunch long ago. And now I don't even really care. Alrighty, rank 700, ladies and gentlemen. I think everything glows at this point, though, to be fair, so don't get too excited. Paimon, I have how many Paimons? I feel like I have most of the six stars, to be fair. I have nine Paimons. Nine is definitely too many, but that means trade fodder in the future. You will be sacrificed at some point, Paimon. Hey, I am reaching higher and higher, ladies and gentlemen, getting higher rarity cards. I have a few reaches. I should probably go and get the story mode done for the weapon assist. It's a nice weapon assist for Rainbow. Alrighty. Paimon has definitely gone a long time about buffs. I feel like when Dark Paimon came out, that's when he had a bit of resurgence because he had just so many skill boosts. Oh, Madu, hats off to you indeed. Alrighty, I got another Madu hat. Do I have enough Madus? I could do the story mode one day. One day. Oh, look at those uncondensed 3x3s. Three three it hurts inside to see. Alrighty, rank 1000. Dun 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 dun. Hello? Something I don't own? I feel like there are some things I don't own. Useful for N New Year's Nordis. Oh, I don't have this. Oh, even more. Oh, I do like this role then. Because there was a period in time where I was trying to like think, oh, what do I need to bring? She is a nice leader sometimes because she is your cleric. She can inherit something over top of her and then her evolving skill doesn't really matter, to be honest. It will still evolve in a timely fashion. And it still gives bonus combos and it does do damage, and it can use 3x3s to kill stuff for New Year's Nordis, so you don't need damage penetration when you have Taula. Something nice. Alrighty, rank 1100. Worked so hard to get here. I hope it was worth the payoff. Something I don't own would be ideal, of course. I love more shinies and baddies! I will take more of you! I always want more. Oh my goodness. I'm going to make them into all their different weapon assists and just have one in every color. I want to do that right now so I can feel happier. Oh gosh, those raccoons. Oh gosh, my shame. Oh no. Let's make it to the light form since I don't have one in the light form. And I'll put it away into there because I'm excited by more of these cards. I love these little plums. Yes. Okay. Back to rolling happiness. Pad Academy. Login stamp. Day one. I'm glad you enjoy my puns, Sword of Evil. Oh my goodness. Day one login stamp for Pad Academy gives me... Oh my goodness. Possibly the most valuable card, at least for the prolonged future. Wow. Wow. Why is it good? Because five dungeon bonus awakenings with a super awakening, which we can't preview. But they have five dungeon bonuses awakenings. And a massive 5,000 times attack as a button. It's possibly the best pull because it's going to have the longest staying power for like the prolonged future. And this is just great to have. So, solo mode, the dungeon bonuses are immense. And if you stick her on someone with a large attack stat, you technically get an AoE button. That does large amounts of damage with no extra man animation. They're one of the few cards that I would love to get just excessive copies of. Like, I don't know if there's anything... Is there such a thing as too many Camilas? But good job, Fantastic. But Fantastic is rolling fantastic so far. Maybe not, Orochi. Maybe not. At least you're new. Would I care about you? No. And... Probably not. Fine, Sword of Evil. 23 is probably too many, but point me to someone who has... Wait, but... 
Oh, this is eight player war. I'm like, what is this nonsense? Oh, big gems. I could have seen that actually. I read that actually. <laughs> You got four of them, PT Legend? That is pretty legendary indeed. We got Toast Girl, ladies and gentlemen. I have way too many Toast Girls. Oh my goodness. Truly unfortunate. Fun fact, I had toast for breakfast this morning. It was delightful. Joe Mama is encouraging Rum to talk about how Orochi is S tier really now, eh? I am waiting to be enlightened. Hey, Apollo, look at that. Do I have you? I do have you, so that is unfortunate. I guess you're another absorption solution if I really stretched it that far. What are those super awakenings? I wish I knew. Oh well. Didn't really use the Academy Apollo that much though. I am low-key disappointed in this rule. No interest in you. I, I don't think I've ever really rolled in Pad Academy, like, ever. I just pick up free rolls every single year, and then I get sad because the bottom is just sad. I'm just curious, even like this account, who would never have rolled, how much they've acquired. I've acquired basically all the bottom stuff, except, yeah, basically all the bottom stuff, I think, except for Lumiel, which I don't care about. But at the bottom, there's a lot of junk, unfortunately. There's a lot of junk in this event. Vion would be nice to have, though. Alrighty, so, on that happy and high note, hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen have a truly fantastic day out there in the YouTube world. I wish the best luck in your own pad adventures, and hopefully you have better luck rolling, and happy puzzling.